what we're going to look at uh, what's in our cereal. Many people realize that there's iron in their food, but did you know that there's actual iron in your cereal? Actual iron. For this experiment, uh, you'll need some stuff you find around the house, uh, like iron fortified breakfast cereal. You'll also need some rare earth magnets. These are very powerful magnets. They're not the type that you will find on your refrigerator. Let's see just how much iron is in our cereal. I will pour some of this water uh, into this, mm, this container. And I am going to put a couple of flakes of cereal in the water. Now we will see if we can move them to attract uh, or repel them with the magnet. As you may be able to see, I am moving this flake with the magnet. But it's not even touching it. We're going to press a few of the flakes and see if those are attracted to the magnet. You can see that the cereal is attracted to the sides of the magnet where it wouldn't normally stick. Next we're going to see if we can extract some of the metal from the cereal. By making a kind of cereal soup. Take a, about a cup of the cereal and place it in a sealable plastic bag. Now fill the bag about half full uh, with warm water. Make sure you leave at least a little bit of an air pocket after you seal up the bag. Sit the bag a little bit and then let it sit for 20 minutes until all the cereal is dissolved. Once you're ready, check the seal to make sure it's closed. Then put the magnet down, flip it over, and sloss it around for about 20 seconds. Once you're done, carefully flip the bag over and make the air bubbles rise to the top. you can see uh, little filings of iron. You need to make the little filings follow you around. If you even have a jewelry scale, you can weigh the filings and see if it's the same as on the cereal box. Iron is in hemoglobin and gives blood its color as well as doing other things around the body. If you took all the iron out of a normal human body, then you would be able to make two regular sized nails. Once again, science has proved exil.